this is how you do not plan a freaking date. You are gonna get rejected. I am here, gonna show you with receipts. I pulled this one from the archive. Let's get into it. I had been on one date with this man. Oh, this is her and history. I okay. got yeah. right in that group chat after the first date telling the girlies, I think this guy is great. I had such a nice time with him. We had so much fun. We had a lot in common. Very shiny. Or so later, he finally texts me and is like, hey, are you free Sunday for brunch? I'm like, yeah, great. That's Saturday night. Damn it. Now that you called it out, I can't not hear that rhythm. It's Sunday the, for brunch. It's the list. It's listing things. When people list things, I, I'm i very s sensitive to uh -huh. when people list things. <laughs> and it's, it's so, the cadence is so annoying to me. But uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Sunday for brunch. Right. Day, 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 day. This text, are you still up for brunch? Yes, I'm still up for brunch. You're saying that 5 p.m. on Saturday, brunch assumingly would be Sunday noon one. Yeah, what are you thinking? I could come your way if you know a good spot. Oh, making it easy, making it easy for you know, you've you've got something. In your area, I will make the drive to you. But I think if he was inviting her for brunch, he would already have somewhere in mind in her area. Oh, that's a really good take. Okay. Because I would not offer to do brunch if I did not already know where to go. Ah. Very, what a good take. Okay. Let's. My defense is, my defense is, I would have a solution to the problem, but offer her the opportunity to pick somewhere else. So put it like I was thinking about here, but if you know any other good places for brunch. Okay. So he, it's his date idea, but she but needs he didn't to now plan complete it? the idea. Yeah. That's, that's the part that's a little iffy. Maybe okay. he had somewhere in mind and just didn't mention it, but I would have started with that, bro. That's anyway. very good. Okay. All right. Moving on. Okay, let me do the heavy lifting for you, buddy. So I give him a list of these places, and I add, not sure dying. you take a res. Meaning, hey, buddy, a I'm giving you three options of places I'd like to go, but you are going to have to do the footwork to determine whether or not they even require reservations. A lot of brunch places don't, or what the deal is. He says, oh, the Dutch eye. That's an ooh. That is an ooh, ooh, the Dutch, hey. Yeah, that that's how I read it ooh. when I saw it. But that is I, I. Yeah. Uh, but it's ooh, ooh the Dutch, I. Ooh, the right, Dutch. we be going to the Dutch, eh? <laughs> Mr. Squidward. <laughs> um, how does yes. brunch of the Dutch say? So that was yesterday. Five thirty-one was a conversation, and then, and then it moves on to today. today. Not even Probably sure when she took means. the screenshot. Like, oh, is that a plan? No. So then that morning, I get a text from him. Howdy. How does two sound? That's not brunch. I never heard back from him the night before. So what do I say? Oh, when I didn't hear back last night about a reservation or anything concrete, I made plans for this afternoon. You Ooh. cannot, for a second she date, made try plans? and make plans the morning. Well, she Wait. didn't hear back. Let's hear it, Sean. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. I understand that this man has messed up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> but why would you? Uh, I mean, okay. Right. She why didn't... would she make plans? The rest, I mean, she didn't hear back, so she doesn't know what time. I I get that. You, you if you had already made plans for later that afternoon, sure. But if you then go and make plans for that afternoon without hearing back at what time he was able to meet, I don't understand. I mean, from my perspective, I wouldn't do that. But I don't know. So he didn't have a follow-up. He wasn't like, I mean. He, he should got, have done that. He should have followed up with, okay, we're doing this restaurant at this time. That should but, have been his yeah. follow-up. But maybe they're both one of those weirdos where they don't double text each other. So now it's her turn to message, right? 
Yeah, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have expected that though. And I will say he's going to have to take the blame for this one because yeah, you didn't confirm a time and she may have already had plans. So but but the way she said I made plans for this afternoon. It's like but you she made didn't plans hear after? Back. Yeah, she right, didn't hear back. Right. So, he has to suffer the consequences for not following up. And it's probably just her personality type that she thought brunch means early, so I should be fine the rest of the day. And that's totally up to her to make that decision. But from my perspective, I would say, oh, I haven't heard back yet, so I'm not going to make any solid plans until I hear back. So, yeah. Hmm. Unless something came up and I thought, oh, I'd rather go do this if something comes up. But honestly, if if I would have not heard back, this is how I would have done it. Let's hear it. Oh, I didn't hear back, but I need to make plans for something else. So I'm going to text him and say, "I just so you know, I made plans for the afternoon, so it'll have to be before this time. And if he doesn't respond to that, at least he now knows that I made plans. So she made plans know. afterward, though, the way that she, the way that that text sounds, it sounds like she made plans after this conversation. Yes, that's exactly so how she did it. Is that you she... should have notified him that you did make plans because you didn't hear back. Yeah, but he also should have told you. So <sighs> it wasn't a miscommunication on anybody's part. It was lack of follow up on both parts. Yeah. It was a lack of follow up, but let's so, see, let's see what he says. Uh, real quick, I would say no one should expect the other person to do the heavy lifting, mm. but you should also be able to do that if needed. Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Let's continue. Morning of even less than twenty four hours. Like your girl is on, busy. We bit. aren't getting date or anything concrete. I made plans for this afternoon. You cannot. For a second date, try and make plans the morning of. Oh, second Even date. less than 24 hours. Like, your girl is busy. We are not sitting around waiting for you to reach out. Goodbye. And so what is his response? Okay, cool. He, I think, got the point. But either way, I was like, this has to be, like, one of the, like, laziest <laughs> attempts at putting a second date together. Like, bro, oh. second date, what are you doing? You missed out is what happened. Sorry. This is how. You- what are these comments, though? I would Just say. Just go ahead and get a bunch of cats if you haven't already. If not, you'll be lonely forever. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> She's not being super picky here, okay? No. I no. understand her frustration, but at the same time, the fact that. Just the fact that she posted this online and is making fun of the guy, I don't. I am not really uh, I comfortable with that. But was on his side until I heard your opinion, and now I'm on not really anybody's side, but I now understand. Right. Because I was on his side. I was like, "Oh, she's just a dick." Um, <laughs> she needs to get some cats. <laughs> but people, even this guy, Justin Nunley, old boy, dodged a bullet. I don't think so. Oh, is that? Is that the, uh, listen, did you know guy? Yeah. yeah listen. listen. Did you know? Oh my gosh. Did that's hilarious. Go her way. I, I'm confused. He, said he didn't dodge a over. bullet and she didn't dodge a bullet. This is a miscommunication here real quick or not, not a miscommunication, but a lack of follow up. Like you said, Yeah. these two probably could make a really good couple, but because she's taking this as, oh, he's lazy and not, I hope that she gives him another chance because maybe that's not his personality type. Because for me, I suck at making plans. I'm terrible at it. Yeah, so same. it's like, hey, do you want to do you want to like do dinner? And then and then somebody right. Responds, oh, hey, you made sure. plans this afternoon. How about dinner instead? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the yeah, I, it was a total lack of follow up because he said, oh, the Dutch, a hey, like, let's go there. Like that's a good yeah, let's that's a go good there. idea. That sounds good. Um, but he but didn't he should have said, okay, I got a reservation for this time such and such how does that sound whatever because um, i'm 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 thinking his thought was "Ooh, the dutch a and then he's like oh i'll probably have to call tomorrow because they're closed 
So he called them in the morning and he said, oh, do you guys have any time slots open? And they're like, yeah, we're, we're pretty open around two. And he goes, okay, two o'clock sounds good. Then he goes to text her and then she says, oh, I already made plans. It feels like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah. well, he, and then True. Okay. I would think about this later. If I was this guy, I would think about it later and say, you know, I probably should have said that I was going to call the Dutch in the morning Yeah, to confirm yeah i don't know so yeah so yeah he missed out but but i hope that they don't let this i what i hate is the 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 polarization of this where because he didn't communicate that well he's obviously a bad person dodged a bullet that kind of stuff and or vice versa or the fact that she's making fun of him dodged a bullet but guys it's not that big of a deal this is a slight second date not that big yeah, of a deal. Yeah, it's a second day. It's not that big of a deal. And they're probably, if she really liked him from the first one, she'll probably give him another chance. Yeah. What she should have done at this point, too, Let's hear it. I think, is to say, is to be actually, or to have an open communication here and say, if you would like to do something, it's better for me if you if you confirm what time or, you know, confirm your plans with me before... Uh, before you decide to do something, you know? So there needs to be a little bit more open communication there. When you start to say you should have done this to the internet rather than you should have done this to the person that you're talking about, that's a problem. Because you could have had this exact conversation with him. And that would have opened communication between the two of you. And you probably, he probably would have been understanding saying, yeah, you're right. I, I should have confirmed this the day before, but all these comments. I think they're are, both wrong. They're both wrong and both right. At the same time, we're right. They're <laughs> wrong. That's what we gotta, we yes, gotta remember. Yes. We are, are correct. correct. <laughs> we are correct. in these people that we have no idea who they are. <laughs> these comments didn't pass. They, it, yeah, no, they, they didn't. No. You're too much work, or he's a red flag, or okay, cool, red flag. She and he are both being painted as red flags. This guy brings but, up a good point, Carrie, or or she. Yeah, uh, it's a mutual date. He's not an employee. See, now, now I I don't want to um sort of derail here, but I. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of the situation where you have the strong feminism ed- ed- end of things, but then those ladies that are the strong feminists demand that the man open the door for them on mm-hmm. dates. Okay. Like, yeah, I'm going to be opening a door for you. You're going to be on but both it's not sides because... of the coin? What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, it's just, in this case, it's... She also could have contributed a little well no she did contribute by giving the ideas like she wasn't expecting to do that so i'm glad that she gave the ideas and then had him do the rest yeah that made sense to me did she say oh no no, she just said like i don't know if these places are reservation only whatever right but so she gave him the list of three that she's willing to try he chose one but then she he didn't get a reaction his, from her afterwards. His chose was not very well worded. Right. So because she obviously misinterpreted it. <laughs> Maybe he's been there before. He's like, oh, the Dutch. Hey, like, uh, yeah, oh, let's, I've been let's there. do like, that. But he didn't say let's do that. It's no. just hey. Maybe she deleted that message. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are they meeting? I don't know. Are were they meeting there? It doesn't say. Was, she, was he picking her yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, just a lot of no... Um... <clears throat> Open communication is the winner here. Tell him that he didn't communicate well. Sean's Tell been married him that. for eight years, by the way. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been through all of it. I think marriage counseling and therapy should be uh, done right from the beginning. Mm-hmm.